let's consider the importance of grouping symbols. Okay, so if we have a look at here, I have just some, some set of numbers with some operations in between them. Okay, but um, depending on where I place grouping symbols or where it is on here, it highly changes the value of my final outcome. So what do I mean by that? So let's say I, let's say I put my brackets um, on those two numbers over there, and if I calculate what I have here, it'll give me a result of just one, okay? But if I say, for example, put brackets around these three terms, okay, and I calculate that, oh, it gives me a negative one, okay? So we can see already from here that depending on the place of the brackets, my values change, right? Now, let's just take a look at a couple more. We have this one, and we also have this one, okay? Um, each of these giving us different values, right? So, the one thing I want you to know here is even though we have the same set of numbers, depending on where my brackets are, or my grouping symbols, it changes the value of my answers. So, grouping symbols are actually very, very important, okay? Now, let's try and take a look at some questions. Now, if you have a look at this one, it's telling us to insert grouping symbols to make this true. Okay, so currently, if you have a look, quick look at it, 8 minus 3 plus 7, uh, we will know it's not minus 2. Okay, but we're going to insert grouping symbols between, say, two numbers here or somewhere for us to make it equal minus 2. Okay, so where can we place it? Uh, well, we can place it um, between 8 minus 3, okay, well, outside of 8 minus 3, or we can just place it between um, 3 and the 7. Okay. The only other alternative would be to put, it around, put brackets around the whole thing, but we know that isn't true from the start. Okay. So let's try and figure out uh, what these two values give me okay, to see if any of them give me minus 2. Okay, so first of all, let's try and work out on my left-hand side. Okay, well, 8 minus 3 is 5. Now 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay, so that's not it. We want minus 2. So obviously these grouping symbols aren't the ones that we're looking for. Now let's take a look at this one. 3 plus 7 first of all, okay, that's just 10. Now 8 take away 10, that gives me negative 2. Oh, okay, so negative 2 and negative 2. So we found uh, the pair of brackets or grouping symbols that makes this statement true. Okay, so to answer this question, um, it's this one here. Okay, so the brackets around these two will ensure that this statement or this equation is true. Right? So let's try and move on to the next one. So a similar question. Insert grouping symbols to make true. So we're going to make this equation true by putting in grouping symbols. So where are the possible places that we can place my grouping symbols? Okay, so let's try and put my brackets between uh, or outside of 40 minus 10. And also let's do one more we can put it outside of 10 times 5. Right? So again, let's try and calculate um, each of these cases and see if uh, which one of these will give me 150. Now let's calculate this one first. So 40 minus 10 is 30. Right? So 30 times uh, 30 multiplied by 5 will give me 150. Oh, so we already found it. We know that this set of grouping symbols um, will give me 150, okay? meaning this is probably not the answer. So the answer to question 2, it's these grouping symbols here. Okay? So that's how we make uh, the statement here true. Okay, so let's move on to question 3. So very similar, insert grouping symbols to make this equation true, and we have a bunch of division signs. So first of all, let's think of the different possibilities that we can place our grouping symbols in. So we can put it between um, those two numbers over there, or we can put it between the 9 and the 3. Okay, so usually when we have three terms, uh, these are the two possibilities that we can have, okay, outside of putting it over everything. So let's try and calculate it. So first of all, we're going to do what's in our brackets first, don't forget. So 27 divided by 9 is 3, and now 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, which is not equal to 9, so that's the wrong one. That's not the one we're looking for. Now let's take a look at this one. So again, we're going to do the inside of the brackets first. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And now 27 divided by 3 will give me 9, Okay, which is the one that we want. 
So how do we make this one true? Oh, we can make it true by adding the grouping symbols between the 9 and the 3. Okay, so as is there. Okay, so that's how we make um, this statement true. Now let's finally move on to question number 4. So how are we going to place grouping symbols um, for this one? We actually have uh, one more term that we had before. We have four numbers here and we want to make it equal to 10. Okay, so let's try and put some grouping symbols in here. So let's first consider um, putting the grouping symbols outside of a plus 4, right? And also let's put it in between uh, or outside of 4 minus 3, okay? Now let's calculate what we have here. Now 8 plus 4 is 12 and 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, so if we put my grouping symbols here, we're going to get an answer of 6, which is not equal to 10. So this is not the one we want. So these grouping symbols are in the wrong position. Now let's take a look at this one. So inside the grouping symbols here, let's calculate it. 4 minus 3 is obviously 1, right? Now what do we have to do? Now let's don't forget our order of operations. We're going to do multiplication first. So we're left with 8 plus 2, which is 10, which is the one we want. So how do we make this true? We can make it true by adding my grouping symbols outside of my 4 minus 3. Okay, so this is how we make my um, equation here true. So again, our, what we need to take away from here is that um, the position of the grouping symbol is very important. Okay, you can see it will give me different answers every time. So it's very important the place of the grouping symbols. Now let's take a look at this question. So here again, we have four terms, and we're going to try and make this statement true by inserting group sim uh, grouping symbols somewhere. Now let's consider some of the cases. So let's try and put brackets around here. And also, let's try and put brackets around, say, all of this. Now let's just calculate it to see um, which of these is true, okay? Which of these equal four? If none of these equal four, then we're going to figure out different combinations of grouping symbols. But let's just try these two for now. So let's do the inside of the bracket first. So 10 plus 10 is obviously just 20. And we know from our order of operations that we should do my division first before my addition. So 100 divided by 20 will be 5. Now 5 plus 5 equals 10. So that's not the, that's not the 4 that we want. Okay, so these are wrong. Now let's consider the next one. So let's consider these brackets. So we have 10 plus 10 plus 5. So what does that give me? It should just give me 25. Okay, so now we have 100 divided by 25, which we know is 4, and that's the one that we want. Okay, so to make this statement true, we're going to insert grouping symbols, okay, between the last three um, numbers here. Okay, so the 10 plus 10 plus 5. Okay, and we don't include the um, grouping symbols for the division of our 100. Okay, so if we place our grouping symbols here, then that's how we make this statement true. Okay.